All right, guys, so I am starting a new dishcloth, and like I said, I figured I would just show you. It's a free pattern. Um, might as well just show you how to do it pretty easily. You can always go get the pattern on Ravelry, but I figured I might as well do a video demonstration because I know that like some of my friends are trying to learn how to knit. Um, so reading a pattern is not the easiest, but maybe watching it visually would be helpful. So um, yeah, so I, um, I already have a slip knot on my needle. Um, they're pretty simple to do. There's a lot of, a ton of YouTube tutorials on how to do a slip knot. Um, so you just want to start with a slip knot and you want to have a decent working tail, um, just to make it easy for you to cast on, but you only have to cast on three stitches. So you don't need this to be like extremely long. Um, you just need it to be enough to where you can just easily maneuver it. Um, so I, this is how I cast on. I start with my four fingers gripping the yarn. I bring my thumb underneath the yarn. I bring my needle around the front and through, okay? So now I take this other yarn, if I can grab it. It's hard to do this looking in the camera. So this is my, my working yarn, and I'm going to wrap that around the bottom and over and trap it underneath that loop. Just slip that loop off and pull it tight, okay? So now I have two stitches on the needles. I need three, so I'm gonna do that one more time. Wrap it over and under and then over and through and then I'm going to wrap around the needle and slip it over so now I have my three stitches cast it on and that's how you start the dishcloth that's all you have to cast on so I'm going to rotate my work I do have circular needles here so they are connected um, but you could do these dishcloths with two separate needles too those are just what I have on hand so the first round you just knit three so you go in the front of the loop here you bring your working yarn only you don't need your end anymore so just your working yarn and you knit and then you're gonna knit the second stitch sorry this is really hard to do when I'm not looking like I'm looking through the camera and then you're gonna knit the last stitch okay so I still have three stitches on my needles at this point in the pattern you're just making your foundation for the dishcloth now I'm going to increase though so we have one round of just increasing and that is where we're going to knit one. So you're gonna knit the first stitch, you use your working yarn only, and you're gonna knit that first stitch, and then your second stitch, you're gonna knit front and back. Let me move this so you can see, okay. So you're going to knit the front just like you normally would, just a normal knit stitch. You're gonna swing your needle around to the back, put it through the back loop of the stitch, and knit. So now, if you catch the yarn that is, you have. <laughs> I did not catch the yarn, so let me do that again. There we go. And then knit the last stitch regular. All right, so now you've increased and you have four stitches on your needles. One, two, three, four. The next stitch is, an, is gonna be an increased stitch for the rest of the pattern, but it's a different increase. It's called a yarn over. So you're gonna knit the first two. One, Two. Okay, and then a yarn over, you're going to take your working yarn, swing it around to the back or the front, really the front of your work. And then you're going to knit the next stitch just like you normally do and wrap the yarn around. And what this does is it catches an extra loop on your needle. And so now when you look at it, we went from four stitches to five. One, two, three, four, five. This will also create the whole, the holy part of the pattern. Um, so the border, that's what the yarn overs will do. So we're gonna keep doing that same pattern. So I'll do this again. So knit one, knit two, yarn over, knit one, knit two, knit three. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we are going to keep doing that same exact pattern. I'm gonna do it a couple more times and then I'm going to turn off the camera and get to the halfway point where we start the decreases. So knit one, knit two, 
yarn over, knit one, knit, oh, there's a knot in the yarn, two. That is the one thing about Knit Picks yarn is sometimes you get a knot and you don't wanna untie the knot because most likely the yarn is broken. So I just try to bury it <laughs> in there. Um, it's cheap yarn, you know, for and it's it's really good quality cotton. It's just sometimes they have knots. So one, two, yarn over, one, oh, that kind of got stuck. My yarn over came undone, so yarn over. One. I'm also in a really weird angle because the only, I don't have a tripod, so the only way I could show you this is to have you like hanging off the edge of my coffee table. All right, so now we are up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am going to do this all the way till I get to 52 stitches and then I will be back to show you what you do next. All right, guys, so we made it back with 52 stitches on our needles. I have been scrambling to get this done. My poor little fingers hurt, <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you the next part. So now that I'm at 52 stitches, I've done the same thing. Knit two, yarn over, knit across knit two, yarn over, knit across, back and forth until I got to 52 stitches. So that is what this looks like. You can see these are what the yarn overs create down here. And that's what this kind of border is. And then this is what we do next. So your next step is gonna be three rounds of the same thing. And you're going to knit two, just like you have been, so knit, two, oh, come on, sorry, I'm looking through the camera again and not, not looking at the work. So I knit two, I'm gonna yarn over, and then I'm going to knit two together. So I'm going to go not into this, not into this loop, but into this loop. And through both, so both of those are together, if you can see that, and I'm gonna knit it. Sorry guys, my battery, my battery is low. Um, so I'm gonna knit two together and then I'm gonna knit all the way back across. And I'm gonna do that for three rounds. So you wanna make sure you keep track of that. So this is round number one. I will speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through me knitting all the way across. So I'll turn on some music now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys one more time. This is my second round out of three. So like I said, we're going to knit one, knit two, yarn over, and then we're gonna knit two together, 
And this is keeping it even. Because when you yarn over, you're increasing. When you knit two together, you're decreasing. So what this is doing is kind of making the straight corner of the dishcloth. And so you remember how you, you cast on three stitches? This is going to make the corner of your dishcloth three stitches tall um, so that it matches up and is a perfect square. So that is what this part of the pattern is doing. So you're not increasing and you're not decreasing. You are just staying straight on, but you're keeping your pattern with your yarn overs. So you'll do that exact same thing one more time. And then we will come back for the first decrease row, which you will do over and over again. So I will talk to you about that then. I just have to show you one, one or two times and then you will take it from there and um, we will break until you get to the last five stitches on your needles and then we will reconvene. Okay, so I have now done my three. Um, you can kind of see how this starts to even out across. Um, so I've done my three rows. So the last step before you end is um, decreasing. So now what we're gonna do is for the rest of the dishcloth until you get to five stitches on your needles is this pattern. I did forget to say that the pattern online does say to only increase to 45 stitches. Um, so that would make it a significantly smaller. Um, I increased to 52, so I added seven additional stitches to the diagonal of the dishcloth, because you have to remember you're working this in the diagonal. So it makes it sig pretty significantly bigger, I would say seven stitches does, because um, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you would have cut off like an inch of the dishcloth if you would do, if you were doing that. So. Um, I'm going to show you now a decrease row and you will just do this over, over and over again until you get down to five stitches left on your needles and then we will finish it up. So you are going to knit one. So you're going to knit your first stitch. So you knit one and then you're going to do a decrease that's called a slip slip knit. So what you're going to do is you're going to slip it knit wise. So you're going to go in just like you're going to knit it, but you're going to slip it off the needle. And then you're gonna to go to the next one. So slip, slip. So you've got three stitches on your right hand needle and the rest on your left. You're going to take your left hand needle through the front of those two stitches you slipped. Okay, so see how you've got the two stitches there? And you're going to knit this. So what this is doing is knitting the two stitches in the back. So. Now you're down to two stitches, the one you knitted and then the one where you knit the two together. Then you're going to yarn over because you're keeping up your little, your little pattern. And then you're gonna knit two together just like we did in the last row. So you're gonna grab the next two stitches and knit those two together and then knit across, all the way across the row. So I will speed this up. Oops, I keep doing that when I'm watching in the video, guys. I keep not catching the yarn because I'm not looking like I normally do. Okay, so you're gonna knit across and I'm gonna speed this up, but you're gonna do that same thing over and over again until you have five stitches left on your needle. I'm gonna do it one more time for you guys, so I'll be back in just a second.
<clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna show you one more time. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna knit your first stitch just like you normally would. Whoops. Knit, knit your first stitch. Then you're going to slip, slip, put your left hand needle into the front, oops, into the front of these two loops. So you've got two loops on your needles and then you're gonna knit. Okay, you're gonna yarn over and then you are going to knit two together. Okay, so essentially you knit a stitch, you slip slip knit, which is a decrease because you knit two stitches together. You yarned over, which was an increase, and then you knit two together, which is a decrease. So overall you're increasing, you're increasing, but you're decreasing two. So you're decreasing by one stitch each row, if that makes sense. So then I'm just gonna knit all the way across and then keep doing that until I have five stitches on my needles and I will come back and show you guys how to bind this off and be done. <clears throat> Alrighty guys. So it is the next day, um, but I've gotten down to five stitches on my needles. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to show you how to finish the dishcloth. So um, you are going to take the side with your working yarn, which is right here. And now that you're down to five, you don't have to do your slip slip knits anymore. You just have to decrease um, down to three to, to cast off. So you're going to, whoop, you're going to knit two. And then you're going to knit two together. And then knit one. Okay, so now you have four stitches on your needles. You're gonna turn your work, and then you are going to oops, knit one, knit two together. and then knit one. All right, so now you have three stitches on your needles and it's time to cast off your dishcloth. You're gonna turn your work one more time. And the way that I cast off for these dishcloths is I just do a very standard cast off. So you're going to knit the first stitch. You're going to knit the second stitch. So now you have two stitches on your right hand needle and one stitch on your left hand needle. You're going to take your left hand needle, go through the bottom of that first stitch and pull it over the top of that second stitch. Then you're going to knit the last stitch. And now you have none on your left hand needle and two on your right. You're going to take the first stitch, pull it over the top of your second stitch. And now you just need to give yourself a foundation stitch or a slip stitch in order to be done. So you're going to take your working yarn, which is right here. You're gonna take it over the top of your working needle. You're going to take the stitch, the last stitch connected to your dishcloth. Make sure you pull this tight and slip the last stitch off and pull the yarn through. Carter, will you bring me a pair of scissors, please? It's on the table. Thank you. So now you're going to just trim your yarn, your working yarn, and pull your end through, and pull it tight, and you are, whoop, you're finished with a dishcloth. So I hope that that was helpful for anyone who either is learning how to knit, maybe seeing the visual and seeing how I knit and how I do my yarn overs and my slip slip knits and all of that stuff helped you. Um, and you know, maybe you can knock out a couple dishcloths now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.